Hey everyone, so today we're going to show you how we painted our stone fireplace. This fireplace is about 50 years old, and although it wasn't too bad, it just didn't fit our style and how we wanted our home to look. We wanted to make it a bit more modern and give it a fresh presentation. As you can see, the fireplace front is made of real stones, and when we started thinking about painting, we were a bit concerned that it might look a bit dull if it was just all painted over. When we took a close look at that stone, we saw that it was actually sparkling from the natural minerals. So we thought it would be a great idea if we added back some of that sparkle after painting. This would remind you that there's a real stone underneath that paint. So we decided to add sparkle to the top coat of the paint for that effect. We started the process by cleaning the stone off by wiping them down with some damp cloths or towels. This is an important step as you don't want any loose material on the stone as you paint. We then taped off the edges and covered the floor with a plastic sheet. We then applied this primer to the stone. Priming is important because it will provide a solid foundation for your paint to adhere to. In addition, it helps provide a first color coat to your paint job. This will actually save you money as primer costs less than paint. We are painting our fireplace white, so uh, the white primer worked great for us. If you're painting a color that's not white, you can consider having your primer uh, tinted to the color that you want so that the base prime coat will more closely match your final color. From our experience, we recommend using brushes to apply the paint and primer, since the stone will have a lot of nooks and crannies that, will do, that you'll need to get into. A brush does a really good job of that with the bristles. Using a roller or a sponge uh, will not give you the same results because it just won't be able to get into those small crevices. As you can see, I'm using a technique of just kind of dabbing the paint into those little nooks and crannies and really getting the primer uh, into every single spot. So this is how it looked after we applied the primer. We, we let this dry for about a day, but most primers will tell you how long it takes to dry before you can apply your next layer. Generally, it's just an hour or two. So the next step was to paint the fireplace uh, with our paint. I also want to show you um, what sparkle will end up applying to the paint as well. Um, when I was researching how we would use the sparkle, I saw that many people would mix the sparkle directly into the paint. But many people ended up saying that uh, the sparkle effect was very muted and they ended up having to polish the dried paint as a last step in order to really uh, reveal the sparkle that was mixed in. They also mentioned that they used a lot of sparkle to get the effect they wanted. I thought this would be even more of an issue for me since I was using white paint and I was con really concerned about how much you would end up seeing the sparkle. So instead of mixing the sparkle into the paint, I decided to first apply paint to the stone with no sparkle. Then I would use uh, a small amount of paint to act as a kind of glue and then apply the sparkle while the paint was still a bit wet. This actually worked really well for me as uh, we end up using about half the sparkle in the bag and got a very sparkly effect. For your project, you may have different results and applying the sparkle directly may work in better situations like darker paint. We repeated this process stone by stone, first applying some paint and then adding uh, sparkle on top of the wet paint. We were super happy about the final results. We really liked how the stone ended up uh, looking fresh and white, but also having that glimmer effect from the sparkle. Just some uh, final notes. Our fireplace was about 80 square feet in size. Uh, we used one pint of primer and two pints of paint. We ordered our sparkle from Amazon. Initially, the sh shipping estimate was two weeks, but it actually came in about three days. The whole process took us an elapsed time of about one hour to prep the area, three hours to prime, and four hours to paint. You're also gonna have to factor in the time to let the primer dry. So I say you should budget about two days to do this project. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also hit that like and subscribe button as uh, that really helps our channel grow. Thanks for checking out our video and we'll see you next time.